Episode 14, Questions and Answers are based on the book Fish Processing Technology in the Tropics. Topic, Salting. Choose the best answer. Which species of fish are commonly used for making tinabal? A. Tuna and mackerel. B. Parrotfish and frigate tuna. C. Salmon and trout. D. Sardines and anchovies. Which species of fish are commonly used for making tinabal? B. Parrotfish and frigate tuna. In preparing Visayan salted or fermented fish, how long should the cleaned fish soak in a 10% brine solution? A. 30 minutes. B. 1 to 2 hours. C. Overnight. D. 3 to 4 hours. In preparing Visayan salted or fermented fish, how long should the cleaned fish soak in a 10% brine solution? B. 1 to 2 hours. What is the salt to fish ratio for salting the fish in tinabal preparation? A. 1 is to 1. B. 1 is to 2. C. 1 is to 3.5. D. 1 is to 4. What is the salt to fish ratio for salting the fish in tinabal preparation? C. 1 is to 3.5. What should be done with one-fourth of the salt after mixing it with the fish in tinabal preparation? A. Discard it. B. Sprinkle it over the fish. C. Rinse the fish with it. D. Reserve it for resalting the fish. What should be done with one-fourth of the salt after mixing it with the fish in tinabal preparation? D. Reserve it for resalting the fish. In tinabal preparation, what should be done after 24 hours of storage or packing the salted fish in plastic pail or basin? A. Drain the fish and discard it. B. Rinse the fish with the water. C. Drain and repack the fish in the remaining salt. D. Transfer the fish to a cooler environment. In tinabal preparation, what should be done after 24 hours of storage or packing the salted fish in plastic pail or basin? C. Drain and repack the fish in the remaining salt. How long should the fish be stored at room temperature for the tinabal fermentation process? A. 1 to 2 days B. 1 to 2 weeks C. 2 to 3 months D. 6 to 12 months How long can the fish be stored at room temperature for the tinabal preparation process? B. 1 to 2 weeks. What is the local name for shrimp cake in the Philippines? A. Ginamos. B. Bagoong. C. Binuro. D. Kinilaw. What is the local name for shrimp cake in the Philippines? A. Ginamos. In shrimp cake preparation, how should the shrimp be washed thoroughly? A. Soaking in fresh water. B. Rinsing with vinegar. C. Dipping in clean seawater several times. D. Boiling in salt water. In shrimp cake preparation, how should the shrimp be washed thoroughly? C. Dipping in clean seawater several times. In shrimp cake preparation, how long should the shrimps be partially dried to lower the moisture content before further processing? A. Few hours. B. One day. C. Three to four days. D. One week. 
In shrimp cake preparation, how long should the shrimps be partially dried to lower the moisture content before further processing? B. One day. In shrimp cake preparation, what is the ratio of shrimp to salt during the tracing process? A. One is to one. B. Two is to one. C. Two is to three. D. Three is to two. In shrimp cake preparation, what is the ratio of shrimp to salt during the tracing process? C. Two is to three. What equipment is used for pounding the shrimp salt mixture or tracing? A. Blender B. Food processor C. Mortar and pestle D. Mixing bowl and spoon What equipment is used for pounding the shrimp salt mixture or tracing? C. Mortar and pestle what part of the sea urchin is considered a highly prized food commodity? A. Spines B. Shell C. Digestive system D. Gonads What part of the sea urchin is considered a highly prized food commodity? D. Gonads Which species of sea urchin is of commercial value Based on the Japanese color grading of the gonads, A. Trypneustes gratila, B. Strongylus centratus purpuratus, C. Lytichinus variegatus, D. Arbacia punctulata. Which species of sea urchin is of commercial value based on the Japanese color grading of the gonads? A. Tripneustes gratila. In salted sea urchin preparation, what should be added to preserve the sea urchin gonads for four days? A. Ethyl alcohol. B. Salt and vinegar. C. Alum and salt. D. C. Water. In salted sea urchin preparation, what should be added to preserve the sea urchin gonads for four days? C. Alum and salt. In salted sea urchin preparation, what is added to the sea urchin gonads to prevent mold growth? A. Ethyl alcohol. B. Salt. C. Alum. D. C. Water. In salted sea urchin preparation, what is added to the sea urchin gonads to prevent mold growth? A. Ethyl alcohol How are the sea urchins open to access the gonads? A. Cracking along the shell B. Cutting through the spines C. Cracking along the ambulacral area D. Splitting the interambulacral area. How are the sea urchins open to access the gonads? C. Cracking along the ambulacral area. In salted sea urchin preparation, how long should the gonads be soaked in 10% brine? A. 5 minutes. B. 15 minutes. C. 30 minutes. D. 1 hour. In salted sea urchin preparation, how long should the gonads be soaked in 10% brine? C. 30 minutes. What is the most common defect of salted and dried fishery products? A. Pink discoloration. B. Dun spots. C. Slimy texture. D. Souring. What is the most common defect of salted and dried fishery products? A. Pink discoloration Which bacteria are most often responsible for causing pink or reddening in salted fish? A. Pseudomonas salinaria and Sarsina littoralis B. Wallemia genus 
see halophilic molds, these slime producing bacteria. Which bacteria are most often responsible for causing pink or reddening in salted fish? A. Pseudomonas salinaria and Sarcina littoralis. How can the growth of molds causing dun spots be controlled? A. Washing the fish in fresh water. B. Increasing ventilation and reducing humidity. C. Dipping the fish in ethyl alcohol. D. Using high quality fish. How can the growth of molds causing down spots be controlled? B. Increasing ventilation and reducing humidity. What is the characteristic feature of sliming in salted fish? A. Peppering of light brown spots. B. Semi-greasy, sticky, glistening layer. C. Sour pungent odor. D. An even distribution of salt. What is the characteristic feature of sliming in salted fish? B. Semi-greasy, sticky, glistening layer. What can prevent the development of slime in salted fish? A. Using fresh fish. B. Increasing temperature and humidity. C. Reducing salt penetration. D. Decreasing ventilation. What can prevent the development of slime in salted fish? A. Using fresh fish. What causes souring in salted fish? A. Presence of halophilic molds. B. Improper salting and uneven salt distribution. C. Excessive amount of coarse salt. D. High temperature and increased salt concentration. What causes souring in salted fish? B. Improper salting and uneven salt distribution. What is the primary factor that causes salt burn in salted fish? A. Pink bacteria growth. B. Dun spot development. C. High storage temperature. D. Rapid protein coagulation. What is the primary factor that causes salt burn in salted fish? D. Rapid protein coagulation. Where does putty fish spoilage occur in the salted fish, where the rate of increase in salt concentration is slowest? A. Thin parts of the, of the fish. B. Outer layers of the fish. C. Head and tail portions of the fish. D. Thick parts of the fish. Where does putty fish spoilage occur in the salted fish where the rate of increase in salt concentration is lowest? D. Thick parts of the fish.